guy. Back here with another quickie. Tens of millions of Hattiesburg. Ooh, we Hattiesburg. Okay, 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 okay. Tens of millions of Americans could lose benefits overnight if U.S. defaults this month. White House warned you. With less than two weeks until the Treasury Department expects to hit the congressionally set limit on the nation's total borrowing, the White House warned on Wednesday that the resulting debt default would quickly, in some cases overnight, hinder the government's ability to pay federal benefits relied upon by tens of millions of Americans, putting pressure on lawmakers to raise or suspend the debt ceiling as they struggle to reach a compromise. And that being said, but they can give out all these free food stamps. Just keep giving, keep giving. Oh yeah, somebody thinking like, well, those people need them. Think about it, people. All right. You giving... Food stamps to somebody extra a minute now. Not what you normally was getting, which is suffice as of like <sighs> there's nothing out there to buy, they say. Right? Okay. So if there's nothing out there to buy, isn't that enough money? Enough uh, free money to you? And Let's say if the shelves are bare, as they say, and you gave them extra to buy what with? To buy what with? Now, by me knowing a lot of food stamp recipients, I know that those people too much don't buy what they need. They buy stuff like crab legs, steaks. What kid want to eat that? Not too many. And also, they buy a lot of junk. And then they buy stuff that they don't even know. They would be like, well, man, three, three of these for $50? Well, that's food stamp. We'll try it. If they don't like it, throw it away. Yeah, they do. Believe the hype. If Congress fails to raise the spending debt ceiling by October 18 to enable the federal government to borrow more, it will be immediately be impaired from carrying out its basic functions, including providing financial assistance like Social Security. A team of White House economists led by us, it don't matter, that don't matter. It could take decades to recover, the team said, pointing that roughly 56 million Social Security recipients may not receive their payments on time. Or at all. In the event of a default. Uh, government health care coverage include Medicare, Medicaid, and Children's Health Insurance Program would also suffer a similar fate. With the economists uh, close to... Wait, I'm over here, camera. Uh, close to 100 million people could temporarily lose coverage. A default will also threaten veterans' programs, financial aid, housing assistance, and $300 monthly tax child credit. Ooh. Uh, the White House did not specify exactly how quickly Americans will lose benefits, but Treasury officials have warned. Breaching the debt limit would require prioritizing certain payments before others. Certain before others. Ha ha. Uh. After running out of cash, <laughs> the Treasury will only be able to meet about 6% of its payment obligation given tax revenues in the several weeks that follow. Uh, I don't need to read no more of that. Ain't 
guess what? Alcohol is fueling this. How? And I'm reading it. Oh. Ah. U.S. is spending frivolously stupid stuff. Giving all this free money to peoples, all these free steps to peoples. It's not free. Somebody got to pay the bill when it's due. Trust what I tell you. Even if if it comes to the point where they can't pay the bill, you're gonna end up. We gonna end up paying the bill. While the recipients sit at home, collect. Yeah, I'm player hating. I am, yeah. I tell you that for a fact. I'm player hating. Shoes. You got some people got to get up, deal with the, the world, when all they got to do is sit back and complain that they check didn't hit the mailbox on time. Well, it hit the mailbox. Back in my day, it hit the mailbox. Now they didn't hit their card on time. You know what I'm saying? So. This time I will hold my tongue. You'll call it that. <laughs>